pituitary gland controls most of the endocrine glands in the body by sending out hormones that affect those glands. In other words, it releases tropic hormones. Pituitary gland hormones spell the word goat flap. First one is GH, then oxytocin, ADH, TSH, FSH, LH, ACTH, and finally PRL or prolactin. Human growth hormone, or HGH for short, targets most cells, mainly those that will grow, so bones and muscles. It promotes growth by the production of proteins. Hyposecretion, or low amounts of it, can cause dwarfism, and hypersecretion, or high amounts of it, can cause gigantism if there is a lot released as a child, or as an adult can cause acromegaly. Gigantism is due to the continuous production or hyperproduction of the growth hormone. Acromegaly is broadening of facial features, hands, and feet. Hypersecretion of HGH can no longer cause an increase in height, so the bones and soft tissues of the body widen. Thus, over time, the face widens, the ribs thicken, and the feet and hands enlarge. ADH from the pituitary gland is released in response to dehydration or thirst. It's produced in the hypothalamus and stored in the pituitary. It targets the kidneys and blood vessels. Antidiuretic hormone helps to control blood pressure by causing reabsorption of water into the blood from the kidneys and constriction of blood vessels. It helps conserve body fluid by reducing the amount of water passed out in urine. It results in lower volume and more concentrated urine. Hypersecretion is abnormal water retention. Hyposecretion, or low amounts, means a person would urinate more often, they would be dehydrated, have low blood pressure. And in certain instances, that might be because of diabetes insipidus. Oxytocin is produced in the hypothalamus and stored in the pituitary gland. It causes contractions. It targets the uterus and breast, causes contractions for birth and release of milk during breastfeeding. Hyposecretion causes prolonged birth. Hypersecretion means there's inappropriate ejection of milk, so too much milk is released from the breast. Thyroid stimulating hormone, or TSH, is also from the pituitary gland. It stimulates the thyroid gland to produce thyroxin. Adrenocorticotropic hormone is from the pituitary gland. It targets the adrenal cortex and stimulates the release of stress hormones aldosterone and cortisol. We can remember that it causes the release of these two hormones because they start with the same letters as adrenal and cortex. So adrenal, aldosterone, cortex, cortisol. Follicle stimulating hormone from the pituitary gland targets the ovaries and testes. It stimulates production of eggs and estrogen in the ovaries and stimulates sperm production in testes. Luteinizing hormone from the pituitary also targets the ovaries and testes. It stimulates ovulation or release of egg and progesterone and estrogen production in females. It stimulates testosterone production in males. Prolactin from the pituitary gland causes production of breast milk. 